That's right. Earthquake. Earthquake. Hi, this is Paul Begley. I'm serious. I'm in Indiana, and there was an earthquake in Indiana. That's why I feel all shook up. I'm totally shook up. Because at 7.55 Eastern Standard Time, right here in the great state of Indiana, we had an earthquake. And I know what you guys are thinking. God is mad at Paul Begley. God is trying to get my attention because I said that when it hit Washington, D.C. I said that when it hit Christ Church, New Zealand. I said that when it hit Pakistan. I said that God was trying to get a hold of their, get their attention in Haiti. Kids are crying in the background. It's an earthquake in Indiana. 4.2 on the Richter scale. A magnitude earthquake shook parts of Indiana and four other states this morning. Thursday, December the 30th, 2010, prompting a wave of calls to local authorities from rattled residents. The U.S. Ge uh, geolog you know, the guys in charge of the earthquakes, uh, said on its website that the quake, which was about three miles deep, occurred at 7.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and was centered about five miles south of Greentown, Indiana, in Howard County. That's about 15 miles southeast of Kokomo, the epicenter. And it was about 50 miles north of Indianapolis. I live, I'm not going to tell you where I live, but I can tell you that from the epicenter of that earthquake, I live about an hour and 15 minutes away. Now, this earthquake, which lasted only a few seconds, was felt by people as far away as Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, Wisconsin. This quake initially was thought to be even more damaging and destructive than it actually ended up being. I'm going to tell you right now, we're okay here in Indiana. We're fine. I'm fine. Paul Begley did not get hurt. We're going to survive this thing. I want you to understand that we are, we know the end of time is coming. God, I know it. You don't have to give me any more signs that physically close to me. I'm on board with your second return of Jesus Christ. Kids are crying. I'm Paul Begley. Earthquake in Indiana.